Today's generation appears to be committed to living life to the full and living it now. Make the most of today's opportunities because they may not be there tomorrow. But it doesn't really matter whether you're 21, 41 or 71. Life is and always has been the most valued commodity in the world. Most of us want as much as we can get for as long as we can get. Yet sadly, few make it past the age of 70. But imagine life with no end, an existence without the boundary of time. Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Humanity has always been fascinated by its origins and curious about its ultimate destiny. And perhaps the most spectacular evidence of that quest can be found in the land of Egypt. Modern Egypt is a land that still fascinates. Cairo, the capital, is the largest city in Africa and the Arab world. In a country that is 96% desert, it has been said that Egypt is the Nile and the Nile is Egypt. Flowing from the heart of Africa, the Nile is the longest river in the world and provides vital irrigation water for cultivation. Egypt also boasts some world-class tourist resorts, such as this one at Sharm el-Sheikh. Here, modern-day Egyptians seek pleasure, relaxation and eternal youth. Perhaps the greatest draw card to Egypt is the fascination that ancient Egyptians had about living forever. Their culture and religion were based on it and most of their energies were consumed preparing for it. The science of archaeology has recovered the history and culture of ancient peoples and their search for the afterlife. Egypt is one of the oldest civilizations in the world. In surveying this country's long history, one gains a new concept of time. Their search for immortality led to the construction of the world's largest pyramids and temples. Modern Egyptians have not lost their longing for the spiritual. Like their ancestors, their search for immortality continues. Most of the world's religions can be found in Egypt today. In fact, Cairo is the center of Islam in northern Africa, and its medieval district has some of the finest Islamic architecture in the world. But can the Egyptians' millennia-long obsession with immortality help prepare us for death and the afterlife. Is it possible that their quest might also tell us something about how we can live life to the full, right here and now, on the threshold of a new millennium? 
For the ancients, the afterlife was as much a spiritual journey as their day-to-day -day worship of their king and gods. And in a strange way, they did discover something about immortality. In an effort to preserve the body for life after death, the Egyptians developed a procedure known as mummification. Upon death, the body was covered with tar, wrapped in hundreds of metres of linen interspersed with oils and spices, and placed in a wooden coffin inscribed with prayers and magical incantations to guarantee safe arrival to the world of the dead. The Egyptians believed that this life was a preparation for the world to come. It's hard to believe, but for 500 years, this was the proud capital of Egypt. Memphis was founded by Namur, the first king of the first dynasty of Egypt. Today, Memphis is an open museum, with monuments brought here from their original positions. Only a few relics have survived, like this colossal statue of Ramses II.